There is no difference between time and any of the three dimensions of space, except that our consciousness moves along it. said another day another dollar never had the grandmother of an egg like this one bells bells welcome to monday morning no that's um that's um the way yeah, all right. Yeah, sounds good to me. Yeah? Hold on, Eric. You seen Len yet? No, sorry. No, all right, Eric. Yeah, I'll leave that to you. Listen, Dave, get us a coffee, mate. I'm sorry I'm late, Gov. Only I've got... That's it. I've heard it all before. Get your ass in here now. Now listen, hot shot. Time and time again you've let me down. But bugger this one up and you're on your own. I'm not covering up for you anymore. That last cock-up wasn't my fault. No, it never is. But if you hadn't been half cut, you wouldn't have put the wrong bloody film in your camera. This one will be okay, really. It better be more than okay. Keep your grubby mitts off of this. What she been saying? Nothing yet. But when the agency heard it was you, they didn't want to send her. So behave yourself. Got it? Right. You've got two hours, tops, to shoot the bird in this Da Vinci, what's it, contraption. I booked Sheckley for you for 11. No. Good God. Don't you read any of my memos? Sheckley! The art historian? The book out! The poor sod who spent six years recreating this contraption from Da Vinci's 500-year-old plans. The contraption that even as we speak you should be beavering away taking pictures of. I don't know what it does. Sheckley doesn't even know what it does. But you put so much as a scratch on it, I'll personally chop your bloody fingers off. Okay, bring your head right round. Right round. All the way round. Now try and bring it... Back just a little bit more and bring it down, bring it down, right? And now turn to your side just a little bit more. No, this way. Really, no, that's tilting. Come up straight and come down slightly. That's it. And keep your eyes right onto the lens. Now bring your head right round this way now. Right round, right round, and more. No, that's too far. How much longer are you going to be? My thumb's going to sleep. As long as it doesn't snow. Nah, it's still not right. Look, I've got the classic look. But with bags of oomph. Look at the book. You can see how she's got her head. And try and get her expression. As well. Oh, 
all day fear love and get me a black coffee. I'll be asleep if I sit here much longer. I'm bored. Bored, bored, bored. The agency said this shoot would only take an hour. If you can hold a pose even vaguely like the one in the book, it will only take an hour. Look, I'm nothing like her, right? And the way you've stuck that light up my nose, you're no David Bailey either. Must you fiddle with things? This is worth a lot of money. Come on, Liz, put it down. Don't worry, I'm not going to hurt it. What's he do, anyway? Give me a break, please. Anything happens to that, my job's on the line. Put it down. Times. Don't play with this. It's very precious. What is it, anyway? Nothing to do with you. Just concentrate on your pose. Leo? Leonardo, I'm talking to you. Shh! Don't you shush me. Bored. 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 For goodness sake, talk to me. Please, Lisa. Please keep quiet just a little longer. And try to keep your mouth closed. Please. How can I talk with my mouth closed? Exactly. You arrogant peasant. And why don't you ever let me see my picture? I expect you're making a complete hash of it. And that's why you won't let me see it. You're just trying to hide your incompetence. I mean it, Lisa. I'm just putting the finishing touches to your mouth. And then it's finished. And then you can see it. How many times have I heard that? A hundred times? Or is it? Two hundred times. Finished indeed. This time, I really mean it. Come on, Leo. Be honest, for goodness sake. You must really think I'm stupid. You'll never finish it. You know you'll never finish it. And we both know why, don't we? What do you mean by that, exactly? Come on, Leo. Stop pretending, will you? It's been obvious to me for more than a year. Well, it's not obvious to me. After all, I'm only a peasant. An arrogant, incompetent fool. What would I know? You know exactly what I mean. It's just your stubborn pride won't let you admit it. Admit it? Admit what? That you're in love with me. Pardon? What did you say? Say that again. You heard me the first time. It's more than obvious, really. Making me come here all this time is simply an excuse. Any proper painter would have finished it years ago. You're in love with me, all right. Admit it, why don't you? My dear Lady Giaconda, spare me your delusions. Apart from your short-sighted husband, the man to fall in love with you hasn't been born, and never will be. Michelangelo loves me. That ceiling painter! He only wants you for your money. And the only reason this portrait has taken so long is because you never keep your stupid mouth shut. Besides, I can't spend all my time working on it. I've got my inventions to work on. <laughs> You're such a plausible liar. But you don't fool me. Anyhow, what about these so-called inventions of yours? You 
call this work? A silly student drawing, no less. What's it supposed to be, anyhow? It's part of an armoured war machine for transporting soldiers. Oh, very clever. And what about this one? A flying machine. And this? I call it a submarine, an underwater vehicle. Who's suffering from delusions now? You're nothing but a daydreamer. If God meant us to fly or go underwater, he'd have given us wings and gills. Come on, Leo. Face the truth. You are in love with me, and all this is, is simply a smokescreen. Lisa, how many times do I have to tell you? I don't love you. I can't love you. You've heard the rumours about me. Well, they're true. All I can say is... Let it suffice for me to say that I prefer the company of other men. Another smoke screen? All these lies and rumors of yours, Leo. Well, I know the truth. I see how you look at me. The way you lust after me, even. So what are you going to do about it? Do about it? Absolutely nothing. In fact, we're finished. What? Your portrait, it's, it's finished. What on earth is this? What game is this you're playing? This isn't me. It's nothing like me. How dare you? Why isn't it me? It is you. Don't be ridiculous. That's me. You need your head examined. Why, well, she's ugly. She's got no eyebrows and, and her mouth's all twisted. I don't believe it. Of course it's not exactly you. Even that upstart Michelangelo can paint a simple like this. What I've done is to bring out the inner you. Your nature. Your very inner soul. Especially that patronizing cocksure smirk of yours. It is you, damn it. Oh, you absolute fool! You've already said that. Well, it's true. And you can keep your disgusting painting. I'll never come and sit for you again. You won't have to. What? You heard me. Now that it's finished, we never have to see each other again. Not ever again. Do you? Do you really mean that? Do you ever want to see me again? Ever again? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Lisa. Damn it, Lisa. Damn it. And damn you. You were right. You know you were. really such a bitch, am I? It's just that I... Stop, Leo. Leonardo, please don't. Please wait. What's the matter? Oh, I see. You're nothing but a temptress. A wealthy lady having a bit of amusement to ease her boring existence. To hell with me and my feelings. I don't count. You're wrong, Leo. Absolutely wrong. I want you more than anything. I've always wanted you. Not like this. What are you talking about? What ploy is this? It's not a ploy. I'm just trying to be practical. I'm the one taking a chance. But I'm thinking about what would happen to you if things go wrong. Think about it, for goodness sake. If my husband finds out, he'll destroy you. In fact, he'll destroy both of us. I have thought about it, Lisa. In fact, I've thought about nothing else ever since we met. Look at this. Oh, this thing. How can this help? What is it, anyway? Don't touch it. 
I'm going to call it an infinite travelator. An infinite what? Don't touch those! Oh, you stupid wench! Lane? Liz? Mr. Davison, have you seen Liz? She asked me to that get That toe rag. He's skived off to the pub, hasn't he, with that tart? He is a dead man. It isn't the famous Leonard Bloody Vincent on the job. Hold on. I just want to tell you... Let me guess. It wasn't your fault. No, that wasn't it. Don't give me that crap. You cowboy. Well, you could just jump on your tripod and gallop off into the sunset. Anywhere. Out of my sight. No way. You're wrong. It isn't his fault. It really isn't. It's got something to do with this thing. Oh, pull the other one, darling. She's telling the truth, for God's sake. Look, you push this one, and then you push that one. Bullshit. I warned you not to interfere with that. Give it here, now. Listen, Adolf, you prat. Don't push your luck, sunshine. Never mind that. Just listen, and I guarantee you'll get headline out of it. Hey. Go on, then. Amaze me. But first, I want to tell you something. This better be good. It is. And it's this. You can stuff your lousy job. And your lousy newspaper. As for what this does, you won't believe it. So perhaps I won't bother telling you. Let me show him. I'll do it. No, Liz, don't touch it. Come on, I won't hurt it. Careful. Careful! Oh, no, dear God!